Some like it hot, some like it cold, but there's no question that everyone loves a good night's rest. Well, <laughs> yes, exactly. We're all a big fan, but now there's a new product out there that promises to make all the bedmates happy. Think of it as a climate control for your bed. Well, of course, what did we do? We put it to the test. We had a few sleepless people try this one out. My wife cannot make up her mind what temperature she wants this bedroom. I don't Changes know. Changes <laughs> her mind all the time. Well, yes, I do that in life pretty much. I'm hot, I'm cold, I'm hot, I'm cold. It's a nightmare. Sorry. Ideally, I'd like to come into a toasty, warm bed, and then once I fall asleep, just get a blast of cold air. So just like a little bit of everything. At this point in my life, I am in post-menopause, and so the hot flashes have come on with a vengeance. Night times are the worst. It's covers on, covers off, covers on, covers off. And you add snoring to that, I snore a lot. <laughs> you know, we get about five minutes of good sleep at night. In a perfect world, I would want to be able to sleep in a bed that's nice and cool for the entire time. And hers can be whatever she wants. Open it up, the bed jets. Super excited. Here's the machine and it blows air through the tube into the duvet cover and then we can control the temperature on both sides using our remotes. Oh, look at that. Hi, doctors. With three kids, if I could just get one good night's sleep, I'd be in heaven. I'm hot trying to put it together. I'm just at my wit's end. Yeah, and I'm about to go start sleeping in our motorhome outside. Our favorite sleep expert, Dr. Raj, is here, and Lauren and Eric and Carol and Rick also join us in our audience to give us the full report on how it's been sleeping for the last week or so. Lauren and Eric, I'm going to start with the two of you. What? How did it go? So, so far, it's been a wonderful experience. I, I'm really enjoying it. When I find out what the price tag is, it, it kind of... I'm happy that I'm able to use it. I'm happy to, that, uh, that it's, uh, <laughs> that it's keeping me cold, but... It's part of a test. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's, been a good, it's been a good experience so far. We like it. Yeah. Carol, did it help? Yes, it did. I, I really, really enjoyed it. The cool air, I mean, the minute that came over for me was just, I had the best night's sleep. What it helped me avoid doing <laughs> is, again, the covers are off and on, all night, off, on, off. With that, all I had to do was maybe hit a button, turn it back on, hit a button, and I would just go right back to sleep. It was, it was like sleeping on a little cold cloud. I liked it. And I have to ask Dr. Raj, what... What is this thing even doing? Well, I like the science behind it. So it's combining temperature and circadian rhythm. So what's the rule of thumb? That when we lay down, our body cools down. And when we get up, it warms up. So there's actually a feature on that to kind of mimic what your body should be doing. You actually tried this out with your wife, didn't you? I not? did. So I brought this box home. And supposedly it's supposed to be compact. It's not compact. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you know, after I assemble it in the book, it's, it's quite a book, you know what I mean? It's like a medical book or something with don't do this and don't do that. My young girl, uh, Mina, she couldn't stop playing with it, and my dog wanted to pee on it. <laughs> so anyways, and there's Mina right there. Who would this uh -huh. be for, the cost and all that? Yeah. Because based on everything you're hearing, right. Everyone's going online right now. Oh my right. gosh, this is a yeah. cure-all, but. Well, let me just say this. I'm gonna say there's a very specific niche. If it's the patient that says, it's definitely gonna be temperature. And on top of that, can you afford it? And when I, you know, I wear my doctor's hat, most of my patients can't afford it, neither can I. So that's why I'm very careful with saying I recommend it for everyone. But hey, if you wanna give this as a Brookstone type gift, I'm sure someone's gonna love it, you know? Well, I, I, I think there's definitely, you heard it from Carol, yeah. that, that for postmenopausal women, those hot flashes at night yes. can be really, really problematic. Yeah. For the woman and for her significant other. Yes. For Everyone oh in the house because when mama's not happy, nobody's happy. <laughs> okay? But let's go back to the husband over there. Let me say this. A good thing about this is that you're not controlling the room temperature. It's only in the bed. And when your room is too dry, there's no humidity, it dries the nasal passages, making the mucus thick and tenacious. And you know what that causes? Snoring, mouth breathing. So, and that's why we wake up with that, oh, that little tickle in the back of your throat. So there's some benefits of this. You know, I don't want to be too mean over here. This way you, you know, don't sleep to fight seems over so this. complex. We should have sleep doctors. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! We got one right here.